Welcome to Think Big with Dan and Kasim. Join host Dan Melnick and Kasim Masood as they explore big ideas, limitless possibilities, and engage with visionaries, entrepreneurs, and thought leaders who dare to dream big, get inspired, motivated, and find practical tips for personal growth. Think big, dream bigger, and ignite your potential. Welcome to the Think Big with Dan and Kasim. Today, our guest is Ryan and Jessica. How are you guys today? I'm good. Thank you for having us on your podcast. Awesome. Well. Thank you. Okay, so uh, Ryan, uh, let us know where you live and what you do. I am in Trumbull, Connecticut, and I am the Chief Operating Officer for Barry Clean Brands, uh, reporting to Jessica. Awesome. And uh, Jessica, how are you helping him? He is also one of our co-founders. You mentioned that. I am the founder and CEO of Very Clean Brands. I live in Clarkston, Michigan. Awesome. So guys, let, let me know about the story of your business uh, and let us know what inspired you to start this business. Yeah. So back in 2020, I started Very Clean Soaps from the kitchen of my home. I started making natural soaps to help soothe my daughter's eczema. Since she was a baby, she's been struggling with eczema. And, you know, as a mother, you tried so many different commercial products uh, to the point where nothing was working. I was frustrated and I decided to do more research on natural options. And that's how I started making these natural products. I launched the e-commerce stores and I started selling natural soaps at the farmer's market uh, to get to know the customers and so on. And that's how Berry Clean Soap started, but the company has evolved. So today we are a CPG company with a hard tech product. Awesome. So uh, I believe uh, there's a lot of competition in these products as well. So what is the speciality or what is the thing that makes you uh, different or sets apart your product from the market? So we make our natural soaps with natural fatty oils like olive oil, coconut, soybean, and a natural alkali. We have the option to either make super clean products, no coloring, no fragrance, no essential oils for people with sensitive skin. So the products that are coming out of very clean, they're for people with sensitive skin. And we are also building Berry Bot Soap Maker. So nobody has ever built first soap making machine for consumers. So that makes us very different in the market. Awesome. So uh, let me know what are the main ingredients that are being used in this product? Because people, whoever is more towards the natural products is keen about their ingredients as well. So a lot of people don't know the difference between a detergent bar and a natural soap bar. A detergent bar is composed of chemicals. And when you go to the grocery store, you see beauty bars or body wash, but they don't use soap in the label because they're not natural soap. The natural soaps, you will see it on the label as a soap bar or soap. And um, our products are natural soaps. They're made with a natural fatty oil and a natural alkaline. That's what makes natural soap. Awesome. So how are you defining your own audience? Like who would be the best uh, customer you can define? Our best customer for our CPD brand, we are targeting B2B uh, level grocery stores, retailers, we're targeting um, companies such as Target, also a Sephora, since we're all in higher end soap bars, not only can you use these soaps for your body, you can use them to remove makeup, detox the skin, um, because some of them are made with charcoal and clays. So the benefits are numerous. All right. So Ryan, uh, what are your core competences and what are your main focused areas uh, about this business? So prior to joining Jessica's team, a few months back, I spent 27 years in in industry. I'm a chemical engineer by trade, so I bring an, you know an element of um, chemistry to the table. I grew up in a range of different industries with Procter and Gamble, Berkshire Hathaway, and and most recently some private equity experience as a chief operating officer uh, for a horticultural packaging company. So 
you know, my role in, in Berry Clean brands and, and specifically with Berry Clean soaps is to expand distribution and help get uh, get the word out, frankly, on the incredible product we have to offer. You know, one of the things Jessica touched on, but I think it deserves, you know, some more speaking to is there's two ways to make soap, right? There's a, there's a hot process and a cold process. And in a hot process soap making, which is most of the detergent bars that you'll see uh, in mass today, that process ends up burning off a lot of the um, very important nutrient that can be retained through a cold process. But the cold process takes longer and it's it's frankly harder to do for a soap manufacturer. So the really cool thing about the two brands that, that Berry Clean is working with, both the CPG brand, the soap, and the Berry Bot, which is really the the blockbuster innovation that we're working on here and really bootstrapping through you know the sale of the CPG brand the berry bot has the potential to transform the lives of folks who know those extra qualities that come through the cold process but they just don't have the time that it takes to go through that extra batch making process of soap. So, you know, that's what I'm looking to do is help, um, you know, broadcast that positive message that we have both in our CPG offering today. Those are cold process soaps that retain those, those glycerins and, and natural oils and help work the logistics of getting that into more consumers' hands in retail. Awesome. So Ryan, what are you going to do within next three to six months? Are you going to make any change in it? Are you going to come up with some new product within three to six months? We've got a great line today, a good, you know, 12 SKUs that we have in distribution today with Meyer and another food co-op in Detroit. We're seeing really positive traction in both of those, those retail outlets today. And so our goal is to really focus on those and build on those successes with those retailers and then you know use that success to to share that with other retailers uh, in a way that continues to you know protect the strong sales that we've seen in the in the retailers in the Michigan area today awesome so uh, probably Jessica this will be for you what is the customer ratio uh, in retail and e-commerce how much you are selling on retail and e-commerce like you can just tell us about the percentage um i would say 90 about 85 to 90 percent of our sales are coming through b2b retailers at this point in time uh in the early stages of the company uh it was flip backwards, I would say 80, 20, 80 percent was coming through e-commerce platforms when I first launched. Um, and I was also running that Etsy shop that was bringing a lot of sales through that. Um, but now it kind of reversed and we will be launching or relaunching the e-commerce store pretty soon. We just have to make some adjustments to do it properly. You know, running digital ads is not something that's very easy to do and you can lose a lot of money if you don't do it properly. So we have to be very strategic when we do that. All right. So uh, obviously to sell a product, uh, marketing is an essential part. So where you are investing in the marketing for the on, you, you're investing more for the online marketing or for the offline marketing? Right now, we're investing in the offline marketing. We're doing a lot of organic marketing. We've also launched an augmented reality experience to help promote and build brand awareness for the products that are being sold at Myers and also at the co-op. What this experience does, it's teaching people the difference between a detergent bar and a natural soap bar. But that's also building the brand recognition. A lot of people in Detroit, also in other areas like Brand Rapids, they heard of the brand organically. And I think that's very powerful. All right. So uh, what is your team size for the operations and uh, handling marketing operations and uh, dispatch and doing some deals with the, with the retailers? Yes. So our team is a team of four. We have four co-founders or three co-founders. Uh, Ryan, he's in charge of the operations for Berry Clean Brands. Uh, with his extensive experience with p and and distribution. He's very relevant on growing our distribution and operations. Um, he's also assisting us with the build of the Berry Bot with his chemical engineering background. Our other two co-founders, Jessica Chavez, she's an industrial and robotics engineer, uh, but she's got 
a huge talent with marketing. She has a big talent on how to communicate very technical aspects in simple words that our end consumer can understand. Not everybody can do that. <laughs> and then lastly, Andy Deepen, he's super talented, very bright. Um, he's got a background in uh, computing engineering and also electrical engineering. He's currently working for a firm building um, robotics for the army and other huge agencies and he's also very involved he's our cto he's in charge of the build for the berry bot awesome so ryan can you please tell us a little bit about uh the technology that you are using uh i'm not sure how extensively you guys are using the technology like technology obviously technology involves social media as well but obviously this is a part of uh, marketing but other than that how you are utilizing the technology yeah the technology comes through in a number of different forms right i think if we follow kind of a you know a platform methodology we've got you know technology ideation happening in the the actual manufacturing space of the of the CPG product. I would consider this an extension, a strong extension of our team um, is a manufacturing partner um, that we're working with on, you know, both our unique formulations and and the ability to scale up with us as we grow. And so, you know, that's an important uh, technology component there. The other piece is you know, Jessica mentioned e-commerce and, you know, sort of on the on the commercial end of things, we are making advancements in loyalty programs so we can hear directly from our users, the consumer, and make sure that um, we stay connected with them. And um, we've launched uh, an exciting program just last week. It's sort of in beta mode at this point, and, and we're testing it out, but we believe it's going to give us an edge in hearing directly from consumers and creating that connection um, that keeps them coming back and, you know, driving repeat sales. And then there's a whole technology component that has some pretty deep, you know, IP connected to it related to the Berry Bot, which is where we take that very large batch making time I described to you and take that from three hours down to 15 minutes. And that's where the, you know, the transformational breakthrough comes for soap makers um, and that can impact everybody making, you know, someone making 50 bars a year for their family and handing them out for birthdays and, and holidays, all the way up to large scale manufacturers who are making, you know, hundreds of gallons um, of, of uh, soap per year and pretty radically transform, you know, their process and, and drive productivity. Uh, and that's the name of the game. I mean, we want to put more of these natural soaps in more consumers' hands and uh, and equip other um, home soap makers and even some folks that haven't even considered soap making but that we see as a as a future you know benefactor of this technology uh, and Jessica has launched some really cool programs directed at refugee communities that we feel can um, can have a transformational impact on society so it's exciting uh, in fact uh, this is pretty interesting uh can you please tell me two or three points, solid points to keep in the mind while you are one while one uh, is going to buy a buy a soap? I'll start, and I'm going to ask Jessica to, to layer in. But I think the first thing is is like, what is your goal for that soap on a daily basis? You know, are you looking? Are you coming in after cleaning your car every day? and wanting to get the oil off your skin or um, get ready for dinner and really clean, you know, that's going to have one purpose of that soap where you would want to target a soap that's designed to do a very specific goal there, which is get the grime and dirt off of your skin, right? <laughs> if you have, and I would say, you know, we, we can appeal to that consumer. Absolutely. We have a soap, a, a number of our SKUs will do a very good job cleaning. On the flip side, there is a, a large consumer base out there that has different type of derma, dermatopic challenges, whether it be eczema on their skin or, you know, atopic dermatitis or other types of skin conditions where sensitive skin, where a certain type of soap can actually have an inflammatory impact. And so the, the sensitive skin is the soap, is the consumer that really our soaps appeal to. Um, on a broad scale, right? And we can get both the cleaning effects, but also leave a nice conditioning 
effect where you can you can over time even you know we've had consumers tell us they they stopped using lotion after using our soap it had such a a, a, a soothing impact and did did obviously the job of of cleaning and, and sanitizing right so that's the balancing act with soap that um, designers are thinking about as they as they create their scoops you know their offerings awesome no I just wanted to give you the mush version. <laughs> Yeah, go ahead. Um, because I started to make these products from my kitchen to help soothe my daughter's eczema, I was able to pick and choose the ingredients that I wanted in the soap bar that I knew would help her. So I added oatmeal to gently exfoliate her skin and it worked. And as I sold products directly to the people at the farmer's market, as people started to use products, more and more people with sensitive skin started to come into my booth. So people do want cleaner products, natural products that will not continue to hurt their skin further. And grandparents and individuals, they want higher quality products that are sustainable, that are clean, and you know they want to live longer. So you don't want to continue using chemical based products makes sense so what uh you, because you started i think uh jessica you started it uh from the scratch so do you think is there something you would have done differently as far as what <laughs> <laughs> like and in in terms of anything maybe in terms of business decision or in terms of maybe product uh quality or product uh, and anything about the product that like, you think like if I could have done this in something in, in, in a different way, then it must be good. So do you have any regret on anything? Yes, absolutely. So this was something that you don't know until you know, but it was still a very big mistake. So for example, when I first incorporated the company, I was an LLC. We are fundraising. So I converted the LLC to a Delaware C Corp. And that triggered um, some corporate stores um, that are our buyers to drop us from their stores because of that change. And, you know, I did not know that it was going to trigger something that big. But, you know, you live and learn and it's okay starting from ground zero again. We know how to do it. We know what to do. And we have those relationships um, that are healthy so we can continue to grow and do it again. Hey y'all, it's Dan Melnick, the CEO of Zing. And I wanted to share a special offer for all of our listeners. Right now, if you need software development services, we'll give you two weeks of a free trial. You need to update your website. You want to build a mobile app. Do you want to update something that you've been working on for a long time? We've worked in a high level technology like AI, machine learning, blockchain. So shoot me a text. 817-874-2208. Thank you. Obviously. True. True. So uh, let me know, like founders or entrepreneurs without challenges are nothing. Like challenges are majorly meant for the entrepreneurs. So uh, can you share a uh, biggest challenge you are facing, maybe you are facing right now or you have faced ever? What I would tell other entrepreneurs, you know, get used to having challenges. That's the law of the business. Like you're going to eat challenges for breakfast. As long as it doesn't kill your business and you're still alive, you're you're having a good day. Our biggest challenge right now has been uh, fundraising our pre-seed rounds. We need to fundraise this pre-seed round so we can get the berry bots off the ground, built up run pilots and get them into market. And that's very capital intensive. That is why we have been focusing on building our CPD distribution to continue to bootstrap and grow the company sustainably while we fundraise. But it's still hard. <laughs> it's very hard. Obviously, obviously. So uh, I think uh, our conversation was uh, really good. I really enjoyed it. So will you please give me a Biggest piece of advice, in fact, not just to me, but to our viewers as well, your biggest piece of advice. I would say to entrepreneurs or people that are looking into becoming their own boss, when you have a vision, be confident in your vision, be confident in yourself, 
Um, not everybody is going to be your buyer. Not everybody's going to be your cheerleader, but you have to be your own cheerleader. And that confidence that you bring into any room, you will attract your tribe. So be confident in your vision and everything's going to work out. Awesome. Awesome. So uh, please share your uh, website and where our or people can reach you. Uh, you can share your your social media handles and if you want to share your email, good to go. Yes, please feel free to connect with us at Very Clean Brands Inc. through LinkedIn. Um, you can also visit berryoptsoapmaker.com. If you're a soap maker or someone that would like to become a soap maker in the future, send your email, join the wait list. Or if you want to buy natural soap bars, go to berrycleansoaps.com. Awesome. So Jessica, Ryan, thank you so much. Thanks for joining today. I really enjoyed the conversation. It was a nice, a nice meeting and I hope we will stay in touch. Thank you. Thank you, Quest. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.